hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create this nice looking chart that allows us to filter the chart and the data using this drop down in cell m2 now let's filter the chart and the data so let's choose for instance um let's choose limousine brand now can you see that the chart updated and of course the data also updated and if you look at this chart, you can discover easily that we had the highest sales in year 2015 with 64.48 million. Now, I'm going to show you how to do all this. So let's dive in. So come to this sheet. Now, we have the same layout and I need each of the unique regions in cell G2 downwards and of course, each of the unique here in cell in columns h to k now to do this effortlessly i need the sort and unique dynamic arrays so equal sign sort unique and of course the array is going to be the main side of this region now this data is officially stored as an excel table so therefore we can see the structured reference nomenclature which is actually telling us that the name of the table is sys data and inside the square bracket is the name of the specific region which is the column rather which is region now close the two parentheses and we can control enter so we can see that we have the unique region and the results spilled to the neighboring rows at the bottom now let's do the same thing for the columns now in this case i want the result to be delivered in each of the columns that is in cell h1 i1 and so on so in this case i need the transpose function first then sort and unique dynamic array functions and of course i need um the many side of the year then you can close the three parentheses and control enter so we have 2013 to 2016 another thing we need is this drama in cell m2 which is going to govern the brand okay so let's just come to the cell n2 equal sign so i need also the unique brand and of course i want to sort it at the same time so let's do sort okay and for the array i need the many side of the brand which is column d so close the two parentheses now i want to it i want it to be in each of the columns so let's use the transpose function also and then we can close off the transpose and control enter so come to cell m2 come to the data tab of the ribbon on a data tools group click on data validation and we want to allow a list so click on this allow and choose list now in the source just click on the first value because this is as a result of dynamic array results so i need a pound sign and it's going to give me all the value bike bmw and so on so click ok and then we can choose one of these unique brand so let's just paint this in white font so come to the home tab and let's just paste it okay so we didn't delete it but just to hide it all right now let's perform our cross tab using the sum ifs function equal sign sum ifs now we are dealing with three criteria so the first argument is the sum range which is of course the total column comma criteria range one is the many side for region comma criteria one this list comma criteria range two the year comma and criteria two is this each of the unique year comma criteria range three is the many side of the brand comma and of course now i need to carefully just come here and choose cell m2 close off the parentheses and control enter bam all right so we have the results now let's do a total here just do alt equal sign that gives us the auto sum all right so this is the data preparation and of course we have our drop down here we can choose right so you can see that it's updated automatically the moment we choose another brand okay okay so, so everything is working fine now let's go ahead and create our column chart so just click inside the data and come to the insert tab of the ribbon under the charts group click on column or bar chart and then we want to choose this 2d okay and now we have this ugly looking chart now the first thing i'm going to do is to switch the rows and columns so under the chart design contextual ribbon tab click on switch rows and columns now it's taking shape so let's select 
select data and I need, let me just scroll down. Okay, I need the each of the year 2013 to 16 as the horizontal category axis level. So click on this edit and I'm going to give the axis level as all this value in cell H1 to K1 and click on OK. And you can click on OK. Now I don't need this region, so I'm going to uncheck this and that's all for now. Click OK. So our data is looking you know nice. Now let me just change this field column to something that is more interesting to me. No, this is not necessary. Okay. You can even apply all kind of formatting that you prefer. Okay, let me just choose something nice that I love to work with. Okay, now what I need, okay, so we have each of the year, okay, 2013 to 16. Now I actually want this bar that actually represents the grand total to cover each of this bar for our east, north, and so on. Now to do that is very simple. Just right click on the tallest bar which represents the which represent the total, the grand total. Okay. So just right click and choose format data series. And we have this format data series, you know, box coming up, the tax pin rather coming up. So let's choose you know fill this bucket and I want under color. I don't want this. Let's choose this light blue. And I want to set the transparency to um, 70%, or you can even let's do 60%, for instance. Click OK. Um, that's fine for now. So I'm going to come to this little option is the series option, and I want to put it on the secondary axis. So click on secondary axis, and then can you see that it's now taking shape a bit? So for the series overlap, let that be a hundred percent, and for the gap width, I'm going to use 30 click enter now it's looking nice so i want to get rid of all this just delete delete and let's talk let's delete the grid lines i don't like that okay now let's just give a meaningful title let's call it sales report okay now the next is i need the data label so just click on this the first one and choose this chart element and choose data labels and now we have the data labels here so let's just apply some formatting i want to make it to be bold Control b home tab let's increase the font size okay oh that's too much okay now i want to format this in million okay so just right click and choose format data labels and we have this option now just go straight to okay let's do that again right click now let's choose the number formatting and in this case i need to enter the code now the code is very simple just put in the pound sign and we need dots and another pound sign and just put in zero two commas space and i want m to represent million and put that inside double quotes and now watch what happens when i click on add bam can you see that it's automatically updated on our chart so everything is looking nice so we are done with the tax pane and let's move our chart up a bit and let's hold down the alt key all right now let's filter the data and see whether it's going to update or not let's choose toyota now can you see that it's up date automatically okay and also the data also updated so let's choose another one um, laptops okay so our chart is working pretty fine let's just forward amazing so this is essentially how to create this nice looking chart in excel thank you and i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe to this channel see you later bye for now